Hi folks, today we're making a chicken pot pie out of all the ingredients from my pantry. Everything but the chicken comes from my pantry. All the vegetables are dehydrated vegetables, onions, mushrooms, peas, carrots, corn, celery, and zucchini. And I have to make a pastry. My, I, I make a cheats pastry. It's called Never Fail, and for me, it's never failed me. It's just butter and hot water, a bit of salt, and your flour. And you just mix it all up. You don't have to be tender and gentle with it. You can just throw it all in a bowl and mix it all up until it holds together. And then once it's holding together, I divide it in two and make two balls that I put on cling wrap and make little rectangles because it's easier when they're rectangles so that when you, when you um, roll them out they are rectangles and if that's what you're using for say a casserole dish it makes it really really easy. So then I just wrap them up and I take them both and put them in the fridge, one in the fridge to use for now and one in the freezer to use at another time when I need a pastry for a pie or um, a pot pie, anything that I might need pastry for. So they just get shaped and wrapped and put away. One fridge, one freezer. Now I have to make a roux with some butter, melted butter, and some chicken gravy mix. So I put about three tablespoons, three to four tablespoons of butter in my pot and melt that and I add I add three and a half tablespoons of gravy mix. And the gravy mix, I'll, I'll leave the um, link to the gravy mix down in the comments so that you can, um, you can make some yourself. I think it's great. So I just make a roux with that, cook it off a little bit. And then I add about a cup and a half or so of chicken broth, which is the chicken broth I made from the Costco chickens when we did our Costco chicken run the other day. So stir that and cook that until it's bubbling and thick, and then we add all of the rehydrated vegetables and give it a good stir and get it to start getting warmed through. It doesn't have to cook, um, it just has to warm through. And then just chopping the chicken into some bite-sized chunks and we'll add that in a minute. And give that all a really good stir so that everything gets coated with the gravy and gets a chance to get a bit heated through. Now once that's all heated through, I'll take it off the, off the burner and just leave it in the pot 
and I will roll out my pastry. It's been in the fridge for about mm, half an hour, thereabouts, and it's just, it's not too, too cold, and it's not, and it's cold enough just to roll out nicely. So I get that all rolled out, and I just cut the fuzzy edges off. cut it into a close enough rectangle. And once I've got that done, I will transfer the chicken and vegetable gravy mixture from my pot into the casserole dish. That's a heavy pot that I can't lift with one hand, so it's a little bit awkward, but we'll get it all out and we'll get it into the casserole. And flatten it out just to make it even and then we will add and get that pastry off the bench and pop it right on the top I'll poke a few holes in it let out the steam as it cooks and then I will I've got an egg here from one of my girls she was kind enough to give me a lovely egg so I will just crack that into a little dish and beat that up to to make it so that I can brush it onto the top of the pie just to give it a bit of a glaze a little bit of an egg wash. Really good going over with the eggs. So that it has a nice glaze on it when it comes out of the oven. And on top of the egg wash, I'm going to just add a sprinkling of a mixture of black sesame seeds and some poppy seeds, just to give it a bit of a crunchy bit on the top. And it tastes good. And then I will pop it on a tray just so that I don't end up having to clean up any oozy bits that come over the sides. They shouldn't because it's not too deep, but pop it on a tray and pop it in the oven for probably about 40 minutes. And out it comes looking beautiful and browned, it's bubbling and smells delicious. Cut it up into six pieces, which is what this casserole dish fits perfectly. And I just scoop some of that out onto my plate. 
I could add a salad, but I'm not fussed. I've got all those vegetables in there. It is full of vegetables. It has zucchini, celery, peas, corn, carrots, mushrooms, onions, and then a bit of chicken. So there you go. That's my chicken pot pie.